All right, so as you can see, um, uh, doing another one of these because I thought it's a little, still a little naff. Uh, going on from the last game, I believe. I'm not too sure though. I'm not too sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm just carrying on from last time. Uh, not much to this game. It's a Cervantes, which means, uh, yeah, it's a close range attack, you know, close work range move. Not much difference to what I'm actually going for either. So not bad. Uh, teleport into Psycho Wave, Psycho Wave, Psycho Wave, Psycho Crusher, and I do that taunt, which I'm actually trying to implement into a sort of like a frame trap, but I'm not too sure at the current moment how to do that. Like I need frame data, I need frame data to actually do that. Um, uh, yeah, not much to it. I think I might do sidestep A into it. That actually might be a good setup. That might be a good setup. Sidestep A into that. Yeah, I think that works. But well, I like it. I really like it. And for the low pups at the end of the round. Not too bad of a start if I don't say so myself. Um, yeah. Apparently it doesn't work against some attacks. I'm not too sure what the uh, conditions for the uh, thing is. Updraft combo. I should have done a 6-6 six, six, B or whatever. Normal bread and butter. Went for that one just because I prefer the Yoki off of it. Uh, yeah, not much. I almost calculated that. If it, this guy isn't getting the message, quit attacking me after that. Quit attacking me. If you see me torn, you're not going to get much damage off me. But yeah, I'm playing him respectfully, I think. Uh, minus the uh, taunt counter. I'm just using the taunt counter. Yeah, I love that move. It's a good move. I have so much fun with it. I tried a Dino's combo. I changed the ender though a little. <coughs> this is where the guy becomes a prick. Look at this spam. Let's look at it. I know I could have sidestepped. But the internet connection was terrible, right? And sidestepping in a bad internet connection, not exactly a fun thing. Then look at him. Prick. Don't need a damn taunt. Which actually started getting me pissed off. Uh, which, if I don't want to know, usually means that I come up with a, like, I usually play a lot better when I'm pissed off. For us, not too much. That was stupid of him. Get rid of a meter whilst I'm blocking. Simple 50-50, I guess, Ron, who cares? Uh, yeah. Actually had a pretty good combo there. Don't understand the sidestep. Then he starts off with an unblockable, with another blockable, which at this point I didn't really care. I just wanted to beat him up. I knew I had a timer. I knew that in some cases in Soul Charge, you have a time limit and if you um, hit, hit the opponent whilst they're in um, Soul Charge, they actually lose a bit of their bar. And it's actually fairly effective if you understood, you know, you understand kind of that aspect and you realize you play a character, like I play Tira, which could potentially get you a soul charge when you're not, when you don't have a meter. Like, that in of itself is like, <coughs> like, really good. Uh, yeah, not much to that game. <coughs> Other than me attesting the counter. Um, yeah. Test the counter. Work nicely. And this is what I mean by the internet connection was terrible. Like, this night was awful. Like, I got so many DCs at one point. It was really just too... I got so many... I just got so many DCs. Yeah, frame trap. I think that's the start of frame trap. Because I think K is actually really good for frame traps. Like, I think it is. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm using 4BB four, four more. I'm trusting it a little bit more because not many people know about it. Yeah, not much to this game. I, uh, I got a low crush. Well, sorry, a high crush. Yeah, he really didn't understand what was happening with that move. Tried for a throw, I broke it. I've, I really can't see throws. And for itself. I swear that style really rarely works. Breaker attack. 
I'm starting to see his like he's trying to just get a round off me. I, I swear. Punishes correctly. Yeah, whenever I go for a vessel ledge, I usually end up winning. Yeah, I got that sounds egotistical, but more often than not, if you, it's like a statistical fact. Like, it's impossible to you for you to lose the first round. I don't know why I went for critical. Edge. I think I went for soul. Wanted to go for soul charge. Yeah, yeah, he took that round. And piece of advice, people never taught me. Never just just never taught me. It really gets in my skin. I swear I'm gonna do a top ten list of how uh, some of the stuff that makes uh, Tira, you know, bad. Like she's considered to be like bottom f uh, <coughs> bottom four characters, and I can see why. And I really wouldn't mind talking about why that is the case because there is some solid evidence to why she is. Went for a low poke, yeah. Couldn't end the game. And I ended that round with that cell. Not much to it after that. I don't know how what activates that ton of coming. I still got to experiment with it. And then he goes for his stupid setup, which I finally started punishing. Went for some perks. I don't know, that's a breaker attack, yeah. Not much to it. As he tries to just do some setups, which I don't think I could have actually get, uh, air controlled. Does something stupid. Like, really? Breaker attack is, I guess, the right for once. That almost guarantees you the win, by the way. If you don't breaker attack it, <coughs> Reverse Celeste can almost guarantee you the win. Every time. If you just Reverse Celeste and you're the right range character, in such a case that Terror is. Like, you will almost always win if you reverse or edge near the end of the opponent's uh, life. Especially if you're in gloomy. So yeah, uh, I didn't like the matchup. Like, I didn't like like some of the guy's attitude, like, taunting. Really? I taunted you midway through the game, at least have some... stones. Battle. Microphone fell. <clears throat> Went for a taunt, I think it's a pretty good up. Because I want to get to Gloomy as soon as possible. Special Lure. At this point, the guys, like, yeah, ran out first round. Not the greatest, the greatest way to start for me. Uh, but the guy, like, using a special Lure to start off. Uh, yeah, not much of that. I got all right. I got the punish at least there. Apparently, to Aris, that move's not very good. Um, unless it's fully charged. Correct assumptions uh, he made. However, it was a uh, yeah met with the exact same fate. You have met with a terrible fate, haven't you? And all that. Yeah, uh, not too like I didn't mind doing like size uh, full yeah full full like running air. Uh, it's running K is really good. I really like it. Like probably not a good move, but I like using it. I like got good range and pretty good starting rounds, but eh, I don't know. For uh, try for the run out. Yeah, I went again. I swear that thing always that wins me so many matches if I just reverse sledge. It's unblockable, isn't it? It's unblockable. That essentially, I, well, yeah. This is where I did kind of something stupid. Like, don't do a vertical, spam a vertical move that, well, is, well, easy to run out. But yeah, he spammed a vertical, and that's what I meant by uh, you could sidestep Cervantes. Like, I saw that one coming, but I didn't actually see it coming, sorry. I haven't played against that many Voldors. So, I saw that he was doing that, sidestepped it. But yeah, back to um, Reverse Ledge. Essentially, it's unblockable. That <laughs> that basically beats out regular attacks. <coughs> so that means that essentially it's a 50 50. Sorry, it's not even a 50 50. I like that. I like that thing. What I did it basically beats out it's an unblockable that beats out regular attack people. Not much to it. Oh, 
beats up for her too, I forgot about that. Like it's unblockable on certain trash, sorry. Like it's, it's like really cheap though. They're like, yeah, reverse ledge I think are really cheap. You stop timing them. Count, yeah, count to two, count to three. Who cares? Correct right, uh, guess right, sorry. I went for that one because either that or a throw and he could see for us, so. Wait for a bit. And he was actually doing something really smart. He was turning, uh, which means myself didn't work all the time. Saw that the air actually, air actually um. Yeah. The amount of times this stage gives me damn renounce. Updraft, yeah. Updraft gives, updraft care gives you a renounce. Not too bad. Uh, but yeah. This guy wasn't playing too bad considering he was a Voldor player. Like, Voldor, Voldor is not the easiest character to learn. I tried learning him once. I got a bit confused. So I, yeah. Try to go for another ring out. Yeah. He got the ring out. Like I said. This guy wasn't playing bad. He was playing, he was seeable though. And that's the thing with Voldor, you can't really be seeable. Punished him. Because he didn't punish me first. That was only the issue with his Voldor, by the way. You could see his moves, and when it comes to Voldors, you don't want to be, you like, you can't be seen. Like, he need, he needed to be a bit more, like... Like, he just needed, like... He just needed to be a bit more unpredictable. Actually, no, it wasn't that it was unpredictable. If I had to say one thing... The problem with his Voldor was he didn't know everything about Voldor. If he knew everything about Voldor, I wouldn't have stand a chance. Like, a good Voldor player is right, is like, really damn good. <laughs> but yeah, I liked him. Yeah, yeah, it was alright. Uh, he was an alright player. And then we got to this game, which if you saw my last one, you got a sneak peek of. Now, I was going in for five games to, to uh, him, not him, her, I don't know. Uh, going in with uh, zero games by the looks of it. <clears throat> so I was riding off a sort of like, uh, basically, if anyone don't know, I get to five games, I always lose. I always lose. Like, it's, it's a consistent thing you can do. There's only one exception, and I haven't up uploaded that exception yet. I went for that. Apparently, it didn't work on low, so I'm getting some more information about that move. As you can see, possession is now very much nerfed in this game. Like, it can't be that good anymore. <coughs> the problem with the, the fin. Yeah, sure, it has an unblockable. But you can punish the unblockable if you see the first possession. Uh, but reverse ledge really kills possession, like it really does. Yeah, this guy had pretty good instincts. Didn't like his attitude for uh, uh, knocking down opponents, but whatever, I never do. Tried to wear anti air, but I forgot that I actually had an anti air. Yeah, he's playing, this guy's playing okay. Uh, yeah, never do that on a Tira player. If they see you do one move, and even if you hit the first move, you can almost guarantee that they will, um... They will, you can almost guarantee that they will punish you with a freebie. Timer scam, which, uh... Not much to do, uh, it's just a type of timer scam. Tried punishing it. Apparently that's not punishable. And again, I don't like people, I don't really like people when they do that, and uh, I understand that everyone has the right to do it, quite frankly, I don't mind you doing it. I just realise I get pissed off when I do it, when you do it, and more of a lot will lead you to be, to me being angry, and when I'm angry I usually play more consistently. Unless I'm on microphone. Don't know what I was trying to do there. Yeah, I did that, I finally got that combo out. Uh, yeah, not much to this next game, I don't think. With that setup, I didn't know about the, uh, uh, 
for it, for it, which, yeah, pretty damn good. Yeah, I got that right. I went for this just because I knew it actually worked. Good damage, too. Tried punishing it. Not a bad idea for the punish. Ugh. Yeah, I rushed down. Rushing down attack is never the best option. I don't know why I did that. Because quite frankly, it was never going to work. It's unblockable. Try for the run out. Air control though. Could have gone for the uh, fin. Ne I don't understand why people let me punish that, by the way. Also, spamming it is just a bad idea as well. But yeah, that fin's safe, by the way, people. The fact is, it goes against Nash's law of equilibrium. Like, it goes against Nash's equilibrium, people. Yeah, you're using the move to its fullest extent. Block afterwards, or GI afterwards. Heck, you can remember a sledge afterwards. Just do something. You're at advantage. So yeah, we start off the round very similarly to the last game. And I do the setup. Missed time to set up or whatever. Saw the low kind of. And timed that nicely. I thought that would, that would have no use. But it actually has a use. Mm. Mm. And this is where stuff gets really bad. <coughs> low. Into headbutt. Could have punished that I think. Nice idea, I like that idea by the way. There, uh, yeah, I was trying for, I guess, a wall hit. And as you see, I'm not really taught in anyone, I'm just getting on with the next game. Nice. I don't know why I'm just complaining myself. Yeah, I'm, yeah, pretty good start for me. I think he goes for a. Yeah, he went for a B, which looks very similar to his hair. Yeah. Yeah. Not much to this round. The guy was playing May at best. Yeah. Like, that's the only time. Like, I love the fact that Critical Ledges could just be reverse ledged. I love it. <coughs> yeah, we, we basically just had a. We both tried to do moves that have a high, a high chance of actually missing or require the opponent to be staying still. But now one of these characters stays still. Yeah, when you actually start seeing the law, it's actually really easy to actually just reverse ledge it. Yeah, I yeah, went for this combo because big damage and it almost will finish the... Like, I, we're near the end of the damn first game. Sorry, second game. Again, I never see why people do this. I never see why people do this. Except in Taki's case, I can maybe see it. Yeah, a little. Yeah, I think that time is scamming. And for anyone to know what time is scam is, it's basically you just scamming out the, mo the, the timer. Like, I literally just am waiting for him just to do something. I don't see why I should do anything. He's trying to get in. There's plenty of ways to get in, mate. That's one way. But it's not a good way. I'm just waiting for him just to get in. I have no reason to actually move. It gets in nicely. And, yeah. I just have to use a move that, that uh, crushes lows. And then, I'll, yeah, I'm obviously willing. Because, yeah, time is counting. Who cares? I'm the most interesting, yeah. But I don't see why I need to actually... <coughs> move. Well, quite frankly, he's the one at disadvantage. So time scams are always pretty fun. Could have punished that. I I've been mistiming that all day, but well, time. And yeah, I think yeah. As you can see, not bad at all. Like I showed it last uh, yesterday because it's actually true. Taki. Taki, really, her possession has really been nerfed. It must have been. Like, if you can see, if you can see a possession, you're more than likely going to 
like, like, I don't know, I missed Possession when it was up either. Like when Possession was up again too, that was fun. Lethal hit. Full combo. Could have got the, uh, another 4k there, uh, but I didn't. <clears throat> and yeah, this point, like, when people piss me off, legit. I get in, I think they're getting, I get in their head. Or at least I'm more calm. Uh, swap charge, yeah, not much to it. And the uh, The soul charge, in this case, was just a ploy. In this case, I just wanted them to think that I was going to go mid, when I was actually going to go low. Playing a bit of footsies, you know, good old soul cal. Better punishment, you could have got okay. I think that's the uh, start of a frame trap, I don't know. Yeah, well, he gets right. Punish. Possession, you can't really do that often these days, so. You can't really use, like, two possessions in a row. Yeah, at this point, I'm in his head. I'm just in this guy's head right now. Not much to him. So, charge. We're completely in the bad range. Yeah, not much to the end of this game. Like, not much to say. Like, the guy played good and well. Yeah, he played all right in the first game. I lost to him, yeah, but yeah, like, like Gloomy said, I already had enough of it. I really didn't care because I didn't think he was amazing. I didn't think he was bad either. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna say, Janet.